टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्राफियन फॉलिकल ग्राफियन फॉलिकल इज द मोस्ट मेच्योर फॉलिकल विच कंटेन्स द ओवम सो वेर इज इट लोकेटेड इट इज लोकेटेड इन द ओवरीज ऑफ द फीमेल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मैमल्स सो इन द ओवरी द मोस्ट मेच्योर फॉलिकल विच कंटेन्स द ओवम इज द ग्राफियन फॉलिकल सो एट द सेंटर ऑफ द ग्राफियन फॉलिकल देर इज द ऊसाइड और which we call the ovum which is surrounded by a layer called zona pellucida it is a non cellular layer it contains protein carbohydrate and hyaluronic acid zona pellucida is surrounded by a cellular layer this layer is called the corona radiata it is called so because it is radiating outwards from the oocyte this whole structure is the center of the graafian follicle This structure is called also called the cumulus oophorus. This cumulus oophorus is floating in the antrum cavity of graafian follicle. Outside this antrum which is shown in white space here, outside this antrum there is a layer made up of follicular cells. This layer is called theca interna. Outside theca interna there is a extracellular matrix layer that is called basal lamina. Outside basal lamina, another theca layer is present. This layer is called theca externa. Theca interna and theca externa collectively makes the theca layer of the follicle. So this graafian follicle, the most mature follicle, is present inside the ovary. During ovulation, this follicle ruptures and fuses with the wall of the ovary. So this is the theca layer. theca externa and theca interna which remains inside the ovary and this oocyte goes out of the ovary after rupturing this oocyte contains with itself the zona pellucida layer and the corona radiata layer after the ovulation that is rupturing of the graafian follicle this oocyte along with zona pellucida and corona radiata goes to the fallopian tube in the fallopian tube it moves towards the uterus in the region of ampulla of fallopian tube it encounters the sperm where the fertilization occurs the full page photographs will be available in facebook and instagram pages thank you